Let's take a look at some clips here quick. Uh, prosecutor uh, on this uh, in the opening statements, uh, let's take a look at uh, how they open up this case. When someone plays make-believe with a real gun in a real-life workplace, and while playing make-believe with that gun violates the cardinal rules of firearm safety, people's lives are endangered and someone could be killed. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what this case is about. It's simple, it's straightforward. The evidence will show that someone who played make-believe with a real gun and violated the cardinal rules of firearm safety is the defendant, Alexander Baldwin. You will hear over the course of the next few days that in the fall of 2021, a movie called Rust began filming at the Bonanza Creek Ranch just south of Santa Fe in Santa Fe County. You will learn that this movie was a Western with a lot of gun action. And while it was a movie set, it was a real life workplace for many people. But you will hear this workplace was on a tight budget. And you will learn that some of the people who were hired to work at this workplace were very inexperienced. And one of those was the armorer, a very young woman named Hannah Gutierrez Reed. You will hear testimony from crew members who worked on the set who will tell you that to them, Ms. Gutierrez's inexperience was obvious. You will also learn that this workplace has some talented people. And one of those was the director of photography, a vibrant 42-year-old rising star named Helena Hutchins. You will also learn that the director of this film was Joel Souza, another talented individual who cares deeply for his projects. So introducing it that way, um, I, I thought it was interesting the way she said, they're playing make-believe. I mean, it's, it's a level beyond make-believe here. We have a lot of professionals on set. Um, but what did you think of that, the way that, uh, that it was introduced? Uh, and I also want to ask your thoughts on uh, Alec Baldwin in general, coming across kind of meek, not, not the Alec Baldwin I think a lot of us are used to seeing. He knows how to act, and I, I certainly yeah. think he's, he's playing his role in this one. But what are your thoughts? Yeah, I definitely saw Alec playing his role. Yeah. Um, as he should, he's a fantastic actor, you know, regardless of what you think of him. I sure. think he's a really accomplished actor and he's playing his role as he should in the courtroom. Um, I thought the prosecution right from the get go laid out the way I think about this case mm -hmm. as well. Um, but at the same time, <laughs> I think there's a, the fact that the armor was so young and so inexperienced, that was the big, that was a big mistake for me. And in, in this mm -hmm. whole thing was why would, because, because they were scrimping on a budget, they hired her. Mm -hmm. That was the critical mistake in my mind. She had no idea what firearms were. She had no business, I think being around them. She got sentenced for it and convicted. Uh, and uh, yeah. so that was where I think the thing started going downhill after they decided to have a low budget when you're doing a lot of firearms. But yeah, um, I think everyone played their role well, but I think I'm on board with the prosecution's, you know, the, the way they laid it out. Yeah. Sloppy, sloppy set really at the end of the day. Yeah, I really do. Here's how the defense started out. So let's take a look. May I proceed? Thank you. Your Honor. Good morning. This was an unspeakable tragedy, but Alec Baldwin committed no crime. He was an actor acting playing the role of Harlan Rust. An actor playing a character can act in ways that are lethal, that just aren't lethal on a movie set. These cardinal rules, they're not cardinal rules on a movie set. And I don't have to tell you much more about this because you've all seen gunfights in movies. And the reason that can happen is because safety is ensured before the actor. On this movie set, there were people responsible for ensuring the safety of the set and the firearm. Those people failed in their duties. 
but Alec Baldwin committed no crime. The most critical issue in this case is how a real bullet got on a movie set. The evidence will show that real bullets are never supposed to be on movie sets. Movie sets use dummies and blanks. Movie sets use dummies, fake inert bullets that look like real bullets, they don't go bang, for when you want a close-up of the gun. You can't tell them apart from live bullets by looking at them, which is why live bullets can be nowhere near a movie set. And if the director wants a shot of the gun going, you know, bang poof, there's blanks that they can use. And those blanks look nothing like real bullets. And they um, are used for those shooting scenes. So there you go. Another look at this of, well, it's just we're exempt from the, the regular firearm safety rules because it's a it's a movie set. And, and here's the two different ways that we they should have been looking at at the bullets. I, I'm wondering how that's going to play to a jury. Yeah, I don't like the statement, no cardinal rules on a movie set. I, yeah. There should be. There really yeah. should be. Anytime you have firearms, I don't care where you are in your world of make-believe or not, you need to have very, very high standards of safety and protocol, and there's yeah. obviously going to be a lot of changes because of this. Mm -hmm. Because those, both those arguments are so good. Yeah, they they're are. They're very compelling. This is going to come down to a jury based on emotion they feel towards Alec Baldwin. Baldwin. I think it's really going to come down to that. All right. Prediction time before we wrap up here. Uh, obviously, it's a couple weeks away before they wrap this. Where do you think it's going to end just on what we know right now? Guilty, not guilty, hung jury. What do you think? Boy, that's a tough one, isn't it? I, it's, it here's why it's a tough one. I don't know the jury. Yeah. I'd, I'd really be interested in the jury selection process. Um, I think that's really going to come down to it, much like the, um, the Karen Reed case. I, yeah. I think the jury is going to really play. I don't think it's going to be hung, though. I think it's 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 hard to get a hung jury. I, I think it's going to come down to the believability that this is, and also I think it's going to come down to we didn't hear, I haven't seen too much um, from the judge. I'd like to see how the judge is going to deliver the instructions mm -hmm. to the jury because that's going to play a lot into this as well. Um, this is going to be an emotional heartstring one. Yeah, um, it's going to come down to how well each each guy does it. What do you think? I'm going to go with hung jury um, because okay. it's Alec Baldwin. The other two, nobody knew who yeah. they were. Um, so I think there was less confirmation bias on who those people are. Uh, and like you were saying earlier, you can like Alec Baldwin. You can hate Alec Baldwin. And it's usually kind of like a love or hate thing. There's not a lot yep. of in the middle with him. And uh, I think you're going to have a group that, uh, that certainly believes that he should uh, face penalties for this. And I think you're going to have a group that is going to be staunchly against it. And at the end of the day, I think it's going to end up like Karen Reed, where there's just going to be two totally different camps that are not going to see eye to eye, uh, both with very valid reasons, very valid points. But I just I, I don't know. Be interesting. I, my opinion may change by the time we get to like yeah. the, the time for verdict to come in. Uh, but as of right now, I'm going to vote for hung jury. We'll see if we're still there uh, in a few weeks. I'll go with you on hung jury right now, too, as from what we see, because, again, the. <laughs> It's it's going to come down to who likes who more, and it yeah, and, and neither side is it, wrong. Honestly, I don't feel like either side is wrong. You're totally right. You know, like for me, if I sit on that jury, I'd want culpability, but I don't necessarily think there should be a, a massive penalty. Yeah, um, because of all these, and so and because in my mind, it'd be saying, well, if I can't, I can't do this because of this, and I can't do this, you know. So in my own mind, I'd be yeah. hung. Changes need to be made on how this these things are done, and I'm sure they already have been, but in the end is either side wrong on their arguments I, I don't know that they are i think they both have very valid points but again changes need to be made at the end of the day and i think that's what's going to come out of this more than anything else and where is it uh where's the jury take i mean where's the trial taking this place? is in new mexico you got to take that's, that into consideration too and, yes, gun ownership yes, why yes. and all of that because that's a big thing gun ownership there very common uh it, it's kind of a, a family pass down thing where you know one generation teaches the next it's typically a male that that understands how to use the weapon if they're taught correctly yeah. and they're going to learn it and they're going to understand that this is how you handle a weapon that's not alec baldwin's background that's not alec where alec baldwin's from he doesn't own weapons so i think those that that feel that well he's, he's a man he should already know this they're going to think he should be found culpable or guilty on this the ones that maybe don't have another background are going to see it the other way too where look he just he was relying on this on his people to do the right thing, and and that did not work. 
So I'm going to go based on where the trial is taking place yeah. and for all those reasons of gun ownership in that area. Generally, where you have gun ownership, you have higher levels of understanding of safety protocols mm-hmm. with weapons. In general, again, broad yeah. swath. Yep. I'm going to say either hung jur- jury or guilty. All right. We will see where it's going to be we'll see. In, uh, in just a few weeks. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to follow us wherever you download podcasts, and especially Apple Podcasts, where you can get advanced episode and premium content on our premium channel right there. Also, be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any breaking updates on the stories that matter to you most. We're on TikTok, X, Instagram, Facebook. Just search Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi, and you'll find us right there. Again, thanks for watching.